Superman, who can change the course of mighty rivers, and bend steel in his bare hands, and who, disguised as Clark Kent, mild-mannered reporter for a great metropolitan newspaper, fights a never-ending battle for truth, justice, and the American way. And now, the adventures of Superman! Far off on the planet Krypton, the distinguished scientist known as Jor-El addresses the Council of Elders. And in summation, I conclude with great reluctance that our beloved planet of Krypton is doomed. Men, our only hope is for survival is to build spacecrafts and to flee to another planet Earth. Earth, for instance, the green planet. I have heard enough of this. I think that we have all heard more than enough. It is sad, jor -El. You were once one of our most respected scientists, and now you come before us with this madness. Wait a minute, you do not believe my research? Not a word of it! Krypton is as sound as the very dirt beneath our feet. Well, if you will just look again at my charts and test results. Change. You have had your time. Oh, oh, oh. Yes. If you just look again at my charts and test materials. <laughs> look at them, by Jimmy. <laughs> you have had your time, Jarrell. We have other, more pressing matters to address. Good day. Huh. Hmm. Gee whiz. <laughs> More pressing than the total destruction of our own planet, all that stuff coming down and everything. <laughs> I mean, that could be disastrous. <laughs> What's gonna happen to my wardrobe? <laughs> my gosh, you golly. I don't know what to do. Oh, woe's me. I don't have that on my script. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Your time to address us is up. <laughs> Dejected and frustrated, jor departs the council and returns to the home he shares with his beloved wife, Laura, and their infant son, kal -El. From your expression, I take it they did not heed your warning. Oh, they never do! <laughs> <laughs> you know, I expected less skepticism, Laura, even at our wedding. <laughs> come to understand that you are right. They must, for the very good of all. I think that every time I look at our son, Kalel. Well, I only pray. I only pray there's time for us. <laughs> Almost as if in defiance, the entire world of Krypton begins to shake. What is it, jor -El? Oh, look! It's the beginning of the end! <laughs> before, you know. It's only going to get worse. Is there nothing we can do? Yes. If I only had time to build this model rocket of mine, but I ran out of glue. <laughs> but I'm wondering, is it big enough for one? How about you, Laura? Oh, you can't go? Then I will. <laughs> You can escape to Earth in it. Go ahead, honey. My it's place, all yours. My place is at your side, jor -El. If anyone is to escape, it should be kal -El. Change. Uh, oh, change. My place is at your side, jor -El. <laughs> If anyone is to escape, it could be my girlfriend, or it could be our son, kal -El. I mean, wait. As if the buildings continue to shake and crumble, jor -El quickly agrees. Their young son is wrapped in blankets and placed into the tiny rocket. I don't know if you should take your motorcycle, honey. <laughs> well, farewell, my son. Farewell, my little boy. <laughs> Lots of kisses. <laughs> Are you sure he's mine? <laughs> and with that, Jor-El presses the button that launches his son towards Earth. <laughs> 